Hey there. I'm Matt McCord. Did you miss me? Yeah, I've been busy. I am on a mission to get Kamala Harris elected for president on 22 cable networks and even more college broadcast systems, and uh, it's working great. But um, today, it's Dean Castronovo's birthday, and I met him, let's see, how many years ago? In 1982. So that would be 42 years ago? Yes. 42 years ago. No, it was the 1981. Yeah, that's right. So 43 years ago, when he turned 17. That's much better math. Dean Casanova was this kid that Kip Doran said, hey, man, you you got to go see this kid play drums. He's amazing. And uh, Jay Reynolds from Malice lived in my basement, where I am right now. And me and Jay and Kip went down to Eli's. It might have been called Enio's back then, to see this kid. And he was amazing. He had a drum kit that was exactly like Neil Peart's two timpani, Three gongs, glockenspiel, and, and about an 18-piece Thomas set, and that many cymbals on a 12 by 12, 2 by 4 by, and plywood drum stage. I moved it the next day out on his birthday party, and uh, he lived in Salem with his mom, Kay. And uh, I saw him, and he played "Shoot, Shoot" by UFO, and he sang the whole set. It was Rick Bartell, the bass player who would play on Rain of Hair, and Jacques Moe on guitar, and uh, he was a major guitar player. I mean, before Ingve, he was making the exotic scales. He was a, he was a, the band, he, he was in a band with these guys called The Enemy, and they had been touring at 16 with Blue Oyster Cult and playing arenas. I mean, that, Dino has been doing this his whole life. So today, I just want to say happy birthday. Thank you for making Wild Dogs. Actually, we did the Malice demos, the first recordings that Malice made with Kip on guitar, me on bass, and Jay on guitar, and James Neal, the crazy guy, the singer. And there's that story about James rolling in poop. From the Ravers record release party. That's why Mick Zane wouldn't play with them. He didn't do that this time. He just drank one KB lager and only got semi crazy. But we did the, I think it was five songs with him. And uh, got them a record deal on Metal Blade. Dean didn't want to move to L.A. And so he called me and said, Hey man, can I come and audition? And we had been playing with Pete Holmes. Game, uh, Black and Blues drummer and Michael Shanker drummer and playing with Rat and uh, well we got Jamie St. James when he joined Black and Blue and so Jamie's pristine Ludwig set was in Danny Kirst's basement as for we practiced so he came up can I go up and try so I'd give him a tape about six months ago before this and uh, had the first five Wild Dog songs that made any kind of dent actually we made Four more. We recorded four songs with Pete Holmes, but uh, this one was the one that is half of the Wild Dogs album. So he learned those songs and came over and didn't bring any sticks. So he broke all the Dean, uh, Dean, Dean the Destroyer, broke every stick, broke all the heads, totally destroyed this drum set, broke the ghost pedal, foot pedal on the bass drum pedal in half when he kicked through the bass drum head and ruined all the heads, cracked two cymbals, did something where he ruined the hi-hat, and he looked at me, I looked at him, and he goes, oh man, I gotta go. <laughs> in typical being fashion. <laughs> Destroy the place, and I gotta go, and so he left. And the guys didn't like him. They didn't think he... Jeff said, he's too young, he's too fat, he's overplays, and we won't be able to control him. No, we've got to find somebody that we can control. And I go, this guy is the best drummer you'll ever play with. And I am dead on right on that one. So 
And I talked him back, I talked his way into the band while and Danny's face the whole time was just like he'd seen a ghost. He was pondering in his head, how am I going to explain this to Jamie? I'm going to have to pay for this damage. And uh, Black and Blue had moved to L.A. at the time. And so <laughs> he was a, a long ways away from <laughs> being verbally punished by the curly-haired singer. Jamie was a great drummer before he became a singer in Black and Blue. He was a, was a drummer in the band Jet, the precursor to Black and Blue. And... Uh, he was a drummer in Cold Gin, the kitscher beat that uh, Gene Simmons was associated with. And uh, anyway, it's Dean's birthday. We're talking about Dean Castanova, who is the drummer for Journey. He played with Tony McAlpine, Bad English, uh, Cacophony, Marty Friedman, a slew of ra- shrapnel records artists. And uh, But the big time guys are Bad English, Ozzy Osbourne, Hardline, Journey, Revolution Saints, uh, the one that says FM or radio. He was, anyway, enough of that. Let's just hear the, the cat sing the birthday song. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dean. And uh, keep having birthdays, brother, and keep playing. And uh, you will always be my favorite drummer. But... Uh, when you see a kid that can play like Inga, like the wrong instrument, well, he can play guitar too. He can play. Dean was so musically inclined, he could play Eruption sitting on the floor with his hand behind his back, play Eruption on piano. He never has been um, schooled in music. He took lessons from Mel Brown, drum lessons from the great Mel Brown. Brown, the Motown and jazz drummer, and that's why he's got this samba feel, and nobody can cop his licks because it's it's jazz, man. Do the jazz hands. So, Dino, love you, bro. You're doing great, and I saw a video last night about your, uh, you know, it's about what happened when you... I mean, you were on the road for 20 years with different bands. You know, nobody talks about Roscoe Vossi in Italy, but that was a long, well-paying gig, and uh, it caught up to you. You know, you gotta you go nuts after a while. That's always going. But you hit the bottom, bounced up, and came back, and uh, I know because I've been there, I've done it myself, I was a counselor. I had my own meetings at my my warehouse when we did the Wild Dog reunion in 1990, January 5th. That was my one month birthday of sobriety. So I know what you have gone through, and uh, I'm glad you turned it around and keep going. Keep having birthdays. Mwah. Good night. Happy birthday, happy, happy, happy every way. Well, I'm happy over here, I'm happy over there. I'm happy, happy, happy every way. A happy, 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 happy birthday from me to you all day. Happy birthday, all of you who have the birthday today.